All right, guys, sorry for the interruption, but I have a pretty big announcement. I'm pretty excited about this, and I wanted to let you guys know. I have partnered with Rad Poker. It's a new app out on Android and iOS that is a heads-up hold'em app. It's a poker app where uh, you play against the other people in the community, and you accrue points by beating them in rounds, but they're quick rounds. I believe they're five or six seconds you have a chance to make a decision to act on your hand. And it's an awesome app. It's been helping me out make better decisions, not only at online poker, but in the poker room. I think you guys need to check it out. Again, it's Rad Poker. The description is going to be down below. Appreciate you guys listening to me. Let's get back into the episode. What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from Harris Resort and Casino in Atlantic City. Actually coming to you from the poker room at Harris Resort in Atlantic City. This is episode 110 of my poker vlog. That's right, 110 episodes in, we're here on our second half of the day trip to Atlantic City. I hope you guys enjoy it, here we go. All right, real quick, do me a favor. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Helps the channel out a lot. Helps me out. I appreciate the support. And if you're not new here, appreciate you guys uh, coming back and supporting the channel. Let's get to the episode. All right, played a little video poker. Got myself a beer. Let's go get into a game. All right, so we're just waiting for a seat to open up. Got to uh, basically claim my seat. They're gonna start a new game here. And I uh, made it favorable for the poker vlog. And I uh, uh, hope you guys enjoy the hands. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> One of the first hands I get into this session at Harrah's. I'm in the big blind with six of diamonds, six of clubs. The middle position raises it to $7, and there are five people going to the flop, including me, obviously. And the flop is 7, 3, 10 with two hearts. The under the gun checks, and the under the gun plus one checks, and it checks around to me. So when it gets around to me, I decide to throw in a bet of $15. A couple people fold and the under the gun plus one makes it 30. So I actually think about it while everybody else folds and for some reason I decided on a call at the time, I don't know why, but I did decide to call. And the turn is the queen of hearts. This didn't help me, I'm checking Check. it again and he goes all in for about $80 and I just have to fold. Of course, why if not? It's never gonna pop in here. Okay, about a half hour later, I was decently card dead. I finally get something decent. I have a king of hearts, the ten of spades. I'm in the cutoff. It limps to me, and I make it 12 to go. And we're four ways to the flop, which is 
Queen King Seven Rainbow. It's pretty decent for us. We have top pair. It checks around to me, and I throw out a bet of fifteen dollars. And a couple people fold, and two people do call. So we are going three ways to the turn now. The turn is the four of diamonds. It doesn't change too much. And once the diamond, uh, four of diamonds comes out there, uh, it checks all the way to the river. I'm not sure why it checked. River is the jack of clubs. Middle position throws out a bet of $10. There's one fold and I re-raise and make it $40. And uh, he mucks his cards face down and we take down a uh, decent sized pot. Thank you. Okay, a couple orbits later, I have the King of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds. I'm under the gun. Plus one makes it 30 after I make it 10. And we are heads up to the flop. The flop is pretty favorable for us. It is queen, 10 to four with two hearts. We have top pair. I throw out a bet of $25 and the under the gun plus one says all in. So now I have a decision to make. Does he have kings? Does he have aces? I ask for a count. I tank for 30 to 45 seconds or so. Play with my chips and I find a call. And I'll call. I say call put my chips in the middle the dealer counts out the chips and flips over the nine of diamonds and the two of spades for the rest of the board says show me a winner and he throws out his two aces and he lose that hand great all right well as you saw I just lost that last hand aces versus my queens with a flush draw but I'm leaving down $35 on this session I'm gonna grab some dinner and uh, maybe it'll be a late night poker session. We're not sure yet. All right, let's go. Okay, so like I said, I decided to jump in the game. It was late night, like 11 o'clock. Wasn't too late, but late. And I wasn't tilted. I guess I was just frustrated. Uh, you could call that tilted, but I, I, have to, I didn't feel tilted. I just wanted to get back into a game and play because of that last king queen of diamonds hand but i decided i was going to play loose aggressive and bluff where i thought i could and let's check it out okay and one of the first hands i get into i have the four of clubs the five of clubs i'm under the gun the middle position makes it ten dollars after it limps to him four others call the ten dollars and i call the ten dollars so we're going six ways to the flop and the flop is 10 10 8 rainbow i'm the first to act and i throw out a bet of twenty dollars the middle position who is the pre-flop raiser throws in sixty dollars it folds all the way back around to me so we're heads up and I decide to just put him all in for about $180 effective, and he tanks. He tanks for a good 30 to 45 seconds, and he folds. And when he folds, I show him the bluff, four of clubs, five of clubs, and he showed me his queen jack, and then we started talking, and he took a picture of me just after that hand, and was going to describe how the uh, bluff went down and asked me if I minded if he posted to Facebook. I said, no, go ahead, man. And uh, I appreciated playing with him. Okay, after the four or five hand, I had the six of hearts, the seven of clubs, and the big blind. The under gun plus one makes it 12, and we're three ways to the flop, which is king, six, seven with two hearts. I bet 15. And the under the gun makes it 45. And there's one fold and it gets back to me. 100. And I re raise to 100 with about $96 in the pot already. And he tanks. He's playing with his chips, as you can see in the corner of the screen there. And he's talking. He's like, Did you hit a king? 
do you have two hearts already? Ultimately, he folds and says to me, good job with your pocket aces. He had no clue. I'm assuming he probably had uh, ace king or a king in his hand of some sort. And uh, we take down the pot. Five. Okay, five dollars. That's five. Four. Four. Okay, in the final hand of the late night session, queen of spades, five of spades in middle position. Yes, I told you I was going to get a little wild. We go seven ways to the flop. And the flop is seven, king, ten with two hearts. I totally whiff on the flop, but it checks to me, and I decide to throw out a bet of $11. The Asian guy to my left there who calls first, he's the one I beat last hand. He calls, and then the guy next to him calls, and the cutoff, I believe, calls. So... We are now four ways to the turn, and the turn is the ace of diamonds. Again, we totally whiff. We don't hit anything here. But for some reason, it checks to me again, and I throw out a bet of $15 this time. The Asian male to my left calls, and the two others fold, so we're now heads up to the river. The river is the four of spades. I don't know how much worse this hand can get for me, but I'm going to try to win it. I'm going to throw out a larger bet this time and throw $30 out. I know 30. it's only double my last bet, but I felt like he would fold the $30. And he tanks. Not really tanks. I guess he thinks for a couple seconds, maybe 10 or 15 seconds, and folds his cards. And uh, take down the last pot of the night. And uh, we rack up and uh, go home with a uh, small win. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Here. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my last name. Good looking up. Yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There, right there. There you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. See you in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.